This video is brought to you by NordVPN. What's up guys, salut, this is Alex. And yes, it's good to be back. And yes, it's been a while, I know. Simply put, I took some good time off. Anyways, I'm back now. Bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, as they say. Bright-eyed, I understand. Bushy-tailed. It's... I mean, it also allowed me to work on this series. I've, I've been teasing way too much. Sauces. 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 Sauce. Sauce. If you think of sauces as a boring liquid, something annoying that deserves no respect, you couldn't be further from the truth, to be honest. A good burger with no sauce. Try AF. A beef bourguignon. Try AF. Chicken filet. When you pour over silky smooth, unctuous white sauce. Works so much better. Sauces bring food to the next level. And they need to be done right. Okay, knowledge being power, we need to define clearly what a sauce is. Pan sauce, it's a sauce. Mayo could be seen as a condiment. I think it's a sauce. Apple sauce, soy sauce. I'd love to hear your thoughts about controversial sauces in the comments. It's my pen. I had a f***ing pen. Sauce, liquid food preparation used to complement other foods. A sauce has to be based on a liquid. There's a whole range of viscosity in sauces, so it can be thin, almost as water, but it can also be as viscous, for example, as mayo. The purpose of using that sauce is to complement. You can't go broader than just complement. So maybe I should just change it to enhancing. That's better. It does improve flavor, the smells of the food you serve it along with, also improve the texture, the temperature, hot, Look warm, tepid, cold, color. And the fifth element might be the most important one. A sauce is there to lubricate. Moisture. Lubrication. Moisture. That's the kind of channel this has become. Anyway, you get my point. It has a very important lubrication role in the overall eating experience of a meal. <laughs> well, that's all well and good, but making a good sauce is complicated. Knowledge experience. We know I'm gonna say it, so just be shush. Making sauce is an art. I want to get better at making sauces. I want you, obviously, to get better at making sauces as well. Anyways, let's stop the chit-chat and start to cook. All right, so this is a sauce. In fact, it's called a pan sauce, and it's made by reduction. Chunky, yet quite runny, context-related. Caramelized pieces of steak, it's supposed to go on a steak, that's what I call context. This is also a sauce. It's a mayo sauce, and it's made by emulsion. Silky smooth, you could use this mayo on so many different food. It's very firm, it's far from being runny. Mm. These two have nothing in common, and yet they both are sauces. This is exactly the problem I'm facing. I want to make perfect sauces, not just good sauces. And since the spectrum of sauces is so wide, since the techniques required to make them are so diverse, my culinary experience alone just won't solve it. I'm missing knowledge. What a terrible series it would be if, if I were to be Perfect at first. Now, there is room to improve. So, this is the National Library 
of France. One of the most well-stocked collection of French cookbooks, super ancient and very rare versions of them. I am obviously here to, to, to learn everything I can learn about the context, about the historical aspect of French sauces, because yes, this is not something I've insisted on too much, but I'm gonna start with French sauces because I'm French and I'm living in Paris and it's very convenient for me. <laughs> yes, but when I did my series on mozzarella cheese, I went to Naples. If you want to be serious about sauces, well, you need to start with French sauces. And there's only one spot you can do that properly. This is the entrance. So that's like a one-tenth replica. I'm basically right there at the moment. Okay, sponsor time, NordVPN. When I work in a public space, I need to make sure that my connection is secure. As I was working at the library, I always, always had my VPN on. And the one I use, NordVPN. When you use logins and password, online payment, you need to make sure that you and your data are safe. That is why you want to use a VPN. Super easy to use both Android and iOS apps to secure your mobile browsing experience. You've got super fast servers, which will not slow down either your uploads or your downloads, important for me as I'm uploading and downloading videos all the time, up to six simultaneous connections, my phone, my tablet, my laptop, everything can be connected at the same time. And then NordVPN has a 24-7 customer support with live chat and email. Right now, you can get 68% off a two-year plan plus one additional month for free when you go to nordvpn.com slash frenchguy or use code frenchguy at checkout. This special offer makes your subscription just $3.71 per month. Thank you, Noel, for sponsoring this video. Now, back to the library. In terms of sauce history, there are two major players. Antonin Carême, known as the Napoleon, of the stove, definitely the most popular chef of the 19th century. His best seller is called The Art of the French Cuisine and it's an absolute masterpiece. In it, he established four grand sauces plus about 200 derivatives. Second major player, Auguste Escoffier. He's known as the king of chefs and the chef of king. How do you follow this guy? Arguably the most influential cook of the French cuisine ever, forever, period. He's mainly known for bringing order to chaos. The uh, Marie Kondo of French cooking. His bestseller is simply a bible for all cooks, le guide culinaire. Besides doing a solid recap and a much appreciated refresh on what Antonin Carême wrote, he also moved the spotlight from sauces to stocks. Without Escoffier, there wouldn't be French cuisine as we know it. So in the end, the legacy of these two geniuses is a list of five mother sauces. Sauce Espagnol, a meaty brown sauce made from roasted stock. Sauce Velouté, that velvety liquid made from using a light stock thickened with flour. Sauce Bechamel, the classic milky white sauce. Sauce Tomate, it's a French take on tomato sauce, but it's pork based, thickened with flour. Sauce Hollandaise, that emulsified butter and egg yolks and lemon. So yeah, that's where I'm gonna start. Well, <laughs> I do feel much better now that I've got this solid primer about sauces. It's, it's so important to know where it comes from, just to know where you're going. I, I do have, however, a slight little tiny concern about the way they classified sauces. I have some reserve. I don't know, it's just... Anyways, never mind. For now, it's gonna be just fine. This is not my problem right now. My problem is that knowledge without practice is nothing. So I need to get better. And I feel like the amount of things I need to learn is so vast. So I need to make not a tiny step, but a giant step. I'm based in Paris. This is one of the birthplace of sauces. I need to think big, think big, think big. Wow. Oh la la, the dining room is stunning. A three Michelin star restaurant. Anyway, let's go and cook something. <laughs> 